What's the best time of day for you to place your trades as a Forex trader? Let's talk about that and more right now. Hey traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here from the Forex Trading Coach with video and podcast number 336. And it's a question that I get asked very often, especially by newer traders. And the question is this, is that, look, I know the market's open 24 hours a day. I know it's open five days a week, but really what is the best time for me as a trader to go and enter my trades? And it's, you know, it's a confusing subject because as I said, we know it's a 24 hour market. But we also get told so often about different times of the day when there's more price action than less. So the day starts in the Auckland session, and then which is in New Zealand, then through to the Sydney session, then through to Tokyo. So that's generally classed all together as the Asian session. And then as the um, markets then go through to the Middle East and then through to Europe, London, and then across to the US with the New York market opening last. And when you think about it, when it's say middle of the day here in New Zealand, it's the middle of the evening, the night time in London. And so a lot of people think that that's a disadvantage because a lot of people think that they have to be at their computer when there are certain trading sessions going on. In other words, a lot of people think they have to be at their computer during the London session. So for me, that means evening time. If you're in America, that means being up at like two or three o'clock in the morning. And then also people leading on from that think they need to be there at the swap over between London and New York. And for me, that's like two o'clock in the morning. And also, and I'm not doing that. You know, it's you don't have to do that. But you can see where the confusion comes because that's what people think they have to do. They have to be there when there's the most price action and volatility and news announcements. And likewise, for people this side of the world, they think, well, it's my daytime during the Asian session. Well, nothing happens during the Asian session. It's usually pretty much dead. The odd day, something will happen, but most of the time, not a lot happens in the Asian session. And so people see that as a disadvantage. However, forget all that thinking and, and, and start again with the thinking. Because the way that we trade is that we only take a trade or look for a new trade upon the close of a candle. And it doesn't matter what the candle length is, it could be a monthly chart, it could be an hourly chart, it really does not matter. But the beauty of trading that way is you know when to go and have a look at your charts. So we know that the daily candles close at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's New York time every day. And so you know when to go and look at your charts. Um, because of the way that we trade, we take retracement orders. We don't even have to take a market order. Um, you know, you don't have to. So you don't have to be there bang on five o'clock New York time or 5.30. You don't have to be there right then. We're taking retracement orders. And the great thing with a retracement order is we're not even there at our computer when the trade gets filled because it gets traded and entered and filled when the price gets to the order level that we've already preset sometimes hours ago. So, you know, it doesn't really matter what the session is when that happens because I'm not there anyway. I set my trades up, I set my orders up and I let the market do its thing. Now, as I've mentioned many times, if you're trading, say, four hour charts, you know when to go and look at your charts. You look at the 5 p.m. New York time and then you could look at nine or one or um, five again or nine. You know, it depends on which of those you can or want to look at your charts. Um, if you're trading 12 hour charts, you just need to look twice a day, 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. New York time or just after that time. And again, entering with limit orders, retracement orders, you don't have to be there. So to answer the question about when is the best time to place trades, the best time to place trades is when you see the best setups according to your strategy. It doesn't matter what the day is, what the time of day is, what the time frame chart is, or what the currency pair is. It's what's showing the best at the time um, according to your strategy. If that happens to be three o'clock in the afternoon or 10 o'clock at night, for me, it doesn't matter. It's when that setup's showing, but again, I don't need to be there three o'clock and 10 o'clock. I, I know exactly when I need to be at my charts. It's just twice a day. I can look at the trades, look at the uh, setups. Are there any yes or no? Place them with retracement orders, walk away. 
So you do not have to be there during the London session or the New York session or the crossover or any of that, you know, in order to take good trades. So therefore, conclusion is the actual time of day that you place the trades does not really matter. And unfortunately, most people think it does, but it really doesn't. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, if you have questions like this that you'd like me to answer on future videos and podcasts, just send me an email to andrew at theforextradingcoach.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Bye for now.